today we are working on uh, finding, I guess, the internal forces using the method of sections. Uh, this is, if you guys didn't know, it's a truss, tr a couple of trusses. Our question deals with pretty much finding the force that's acting on CF and then also CB and then the force from EF. So our main goal is to determine the, pretty much the magnitude of these internal forces. Well first, before we even do that, you have to uh, determine all your external forces. In this case, in this problem it's given. As you see we have 600 pounds acting downward on each of the main points. And the way we use the method of sections is literally pretty much what we have to do is Think of it as you have to cut this in half. By the way, the distance between each is four feet and the height is four feet. So cutting it in half is pretty much we literally saying anything on this side we don't care about. So literally what you're dealing with right now, we have force going this way, if we cut it in half. And force going that way. Don't forget that we have the point over here, which is F, and then we also have the point B over here. Alright, well the first thing we need to do is we have three unknowns, and now we need to come up with any equation so we can solve for each one of the forces. And the best thing, just by looking at this, is we can do the, the summation of uh, moment, which I'm guessing the moment at E equals, uh, according to equilibrium uh, theorem, you know, the summation of M, the moment at E equals to zero. So in this case, we're going to solve... Actually, let's solve right here, the moment at C. So, the moment at C equals zero. In this case, my reference is going to be clockwise means positive. So, when we say that the moment at C, we literally pretty much avoid anything that intersects that point. So, the force of CF and the force of CB does not count. Same thing as the 600 pounds going down. It doesn't even count. So, all we're dealing with right now is this force and that force. So let's do that. So the moment at C equals zero. Looking at it from here, this one is going counterclockwise. It's pushing the C. If we're looking at it from the moment at C, the force EF is pushing it counterclockwise. So negative the force of EF times the height, which is four. And then we look over here. It's pushing it clockwise, same thing as according to our reference, plus 800 times the distance, which it happens to be 4, equals 0. And from that, you can solve for the, the force of Fe. In this case, Fe comes out to be the force of EF. comes out to be, what we're looking at over here, 800, 800 pounds. And since, according to our reference, came out to be positive, and our answer came out to be positive, pretty much this tells us that this force, according to our reference, since it's a positive, pretty much that the force is acting in this direction, in this case, is considered tension. If we happen to get a negative answer, then pretty much it's telling us to change the direction, and the direction would have been going on the opposite way, and that's called compression. But in this case, it turns out to be tension. Okay, so after you solve for the force head for EF, and this one's already determined, so we know that this force right here is 800 tension. <coughs> after we do that, now we have to solve for CF and CB. 
And the best way that we do that is if we find, if we actually calculate, you can do it in different ways, but the quickest and the easiest way is literally just finding the moments of each of the points. In this case, I'm going to use point F. So any force that intersects that point doesn't count. So this I automatically eliminate CF in EF. So all I'm left with is the force from CB and the actual uh, down force of the 600 pounds are the weight and this other weight that's acting downward. So the moment at F equals zero and also I'm going to use my reference counterclockwise as positive. So doing the moment at F, I eliminate this. So let's start out with this force right here. We're looking at it since it's going clockwise. The force of CB times that the height distance between uh, from point F, which is a four, and then also we got this force right here. In this case, it's pushing it clockwise also. That means it's a plus 600 times that distance, which is we said it was a four also. And this one right here is also acting in a clockwise. So it's also a positive, and it's 800 times the distance, the horizontal distance between F and D, which is 4, 4 equals 8 equals 0. And just by doing that, you will find out that F of CB equals a negative, negative 22 hundred pounds. Now as I always said to you guys, according to our reference we said that the force F of CB, according to our reference, saying that it's going into the left direction. But since we got a negative, that's, that tells us that this force is actually not going to the left, but it's going to the right. And since we change the direction and it's pointing to that point, it is considered compression. So the force of FCB comes out to be compression. All right, so after, since we solved for that, so now we know that this force right here equals 2,200 pounds. All we're left with is the force of CF. And uh, the way we do for CF, you can do it either ways. You can do the sine and cosine. In this case, I'm going to actually do the summation of all forces in the y direction. So, summation of, of y equals 0. And my reference is anything going up is positive. So doing that, I get a negative 600 minus 800. And there's no more y sign except this one right here. And I'm going to say it's, it's acting in the up direction. So it's plus F of CF. In this case, the way we determine this angle is you know that this triangle right here, or should I say this triangle right here, the distance is 4, 4. And if you do the basic uh, Pythagorean math theorem, you pretty much know that this theta, or this angle, comes out to be a 45 degrees. So FC, doing that, you know that this angle right now is 45 degrees. So solving for this force right here, F of CF sine of 45 equals 0. And you do the math, F, C of F comes out to be right. comes out to be 1980 pounds. And according to our reference, it's a positive. And the way we see on the reference, this force it is pointing this way from point C, so it is 
tension, not compression. And I should be good to go.